is going on guys? It is Starfear Gaming and today we are going to be going through minigame lobby secrets. So I'd like to get started with getting with draining the with draining the fountain because that is something that most people will never figure out unless they watch this YouTube video or some other one. So I'm going to show you and MJ16 is going to be talking in the background if he wants to. So to get the fountain undrained you're going to see this little hole right here next to the step. And if you flip the lever, it will actually open and two iron doors right here. These were not open before. Oh, cool. And if you go down here, it'll just be an empty room. And it actually, if you jump up here, I'm pretty sure there's an armor set back here. Really? I was sure there was. Is it in that chest? Nah, there's nothing here. Okay, I guess. So, oh, we have behind here. Yeah, it is. Yeah, oh yeah, you get a, oh yeah, you get like this stuff that pumpkin head, this pumpkin's gonna be annoying, so, so I'll just take that off. Just throw it down here while I. So, and you're gonna see up here, there's a, there's a, um, item frame with a water bucket in it tilted in that specific way. So once you see that tilted in that specific way, you're gonna head all the way up to the top level. Oh no, and as you can see, the iron doors are here are shut and I'm going to be opening them. So if you go to the top level like this, hop on this dining table, then you'll see another bucket of water here. Then twist it in the exact direction that the one the, uh, uh, as the item frame on the bottom floor. So once that's done, then the two iron doors will open right here. They'll be open. And this is the part where you drain the fountain. So if you hit this, that water will drain. And if you can get up here fast enough, you can actually see the fountain drain. Yeah, it's draining right now. Now it's drained. And that also, that button will also open up a little secret bit right here. If you flip the lever, it'll open it up. And that's how you drain the fountain and get it open. And now I'm going to show you the two um, other, like the ocean biome and the nether biome, or how you can get to that. So, if you want to get to the ocean biome, you are going to need to uh, go over here. Oh man, there's an ocean biome? Yeah, there's one hidden. Oh, but there's one, there's one right here, but it's covered by glass. Oh. And then if you head over here, you'll see this little doorway where you can actually head into the ocean biome. And I'm going to show you how to get that open. To get that open, there's a little hole down here with a lever in it. And if you flip it, that'll allow you so you can actually get over here. Then you can hop in here. And there's really just, this is basically just an exploring base unless you're heading to get all the music discs. Whoa, cool. And you'll actually find the music disc right here. Wow, that's cool. And, and, and the one in here will be, where are we now? And I'm just going to hit that real quick. I actually don't really care, because I'm just going to click that. That's what the music is sound like in this game. Okay, so then if you want to head out of here, you just have to get out of here from here. Then I'm going to show you how to get to the nether biome now. So the nether biome is a bit more tricky. There's no music just in the nether biome. Oh, and over here, if you head through here, there's actually a chain mill right up there. So then... Yeah, then there's nothing to that waterfall, like some noob would think. Then you just get up here. Then to get to the nether, you have you actually have to head up over to the exact opposite side of here. Go over here. Then if you get up here, you you can go over here. And then if you want to get up here, you can you have to walk up these stairs until you've gotten to here. You're going to see this little hole, pretty much everyone's probably going to see that unless they're completely blind. There's a lever right here, which you can flip like this. And as you can open that, make a piston sound. And it opens right here, which is the nether, of course. Oh, there's a nether too? That's cool. And if you go through here, you can hop down, actually, to get that. But you're going to, be, you're going to want to be careful because you do want to get back up. Yeah, it just gives you the wither skeleton tool. I'm going to grab one for something I'm going to show you later. So to get back up there, you're just going to need to hop up here and get on the stairs and just head back up. If you find yourself stuck in here, then you can just go over here and get up. 
So that's pretty much all that's in here, except for that little cage right there that, that you can see on, on the other side. So that's pretty much all in the nether. So, okay, this is the doorway to where the draining fountain went. And if you go under the draining fountain, draining fountain, there's actually a little way you can go under here. This is actually the old lobby that it was before, like when like mini games started something like that. I believe that, like the glide, like the new mini game glide, like might have been the same update that they made in the new lobby. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they are. So you're gonna see these five mob heads, and you're gonna see the dragon's head right over here. So you're if you get all five mob heads, this door right here or this door right here will open. If you have the Elytra, you can actually fly down here. Just fly them there. Like, and the only way to get out is just to battle again. But the correct way to get in here is to get all the mod heads. I already found the Wither Skeleton Skull, which is in the nether. And if you put, place it in here, it's gonna disappear. And if you look at the Wither Skeleton Skull, it's gonna do this, it's gonna light up. So, to get back up top, you're gonna wanna head um, over here. And this is actually the other way you get into the nether. You can just put this lever and it allows you to get down there. And then the way you get up is you head to this little doorway right here. You have to head up these stairs and then up the ladder. At the end of this video, should we do like a little round? Nah, I don't think Together so. to like the it's, it's been, it's, Well, yeah, like the lead trial like is up there. Like you can only get it if you went around. And then you can, there's actually a little chi hole you can go down. Like there's like a little cheat hole. Like if you go over here, you can actually find a little hole. Like if you have the Elytra, you can actually kind of squeeze down through that hole to get to the other. Like you don't have to drain the fountain to do it. So if you want to get, if you want to get all five mob heads, right here should be like the Steve. Oh no, this is this is how you get the zombie head. So you basically have to press these buttons all at the same time as fast as you can, like this. Can we please do? Can we please? No, do no. This is basically around this. So then you can grab the zombie head. I'm just gonna keep it because I don't want to waste time just going down there. So then, after you've got the zombie head, I'm gonna show you how to get the skeleton head. Is there a dragon head? Yeah, you you only get the dragon head once you get all five of the mob heads. So to get the skeleton head, you're gonna need to head over to these trees over here. Then you're gonna need to grab the bow, which is up here. Everyone's probably gonna see this if they head up here. You can grab this bow, you'd think, the thing you're supposed to do with this bow is you're supposed to um, shoot the targets down that are right here. Like if you shoot all of them, it's gonna set off some fireworks. So then if you wanna get the skeleton head, I'd, with, like you're never gonna find the skeleton head unless you watch like some sort of video like this one. But what the skeleton head is actually, if you hop on here, get the bow out, pull it back, there's actually a little button right there if you can actually a bit see it in this dispenser. I'm gonna hit it first try since I'm great at arching. Like this. Yeah, and then it's just gonna come down right there. Yeah, and then now it's up top. Okay, I'm gonna go get it real quick. Right here. Then the way you get the the way you get the Steve head is right here. No, this is the one I got before. This is the zombie head I got. So if you want to get the Steve head, you're going to have to head over to the other side of the map. Head up here. And then you're going to want to um, go over here. Head through these doors. And this is actually might be a bit tricky to remember. You have to tilt the diamond sword this way. Leave the golden sword how it is. Then tilt the iron sword this way. Well, no, not that way. Just, just pointing up. Then had this go this way, whoopsie, had this go this way, then it'll open a little bit down here, which is the C pad. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna just stand here for a bit so you can memorize what this, what the pattern is. That should be enough. And now I'm going to get the final head, the creeper head. The way you get the creeper head is probably the, like, the second trickiest way, like the second trickiest head to get. So if you wanna get the creeper head, you have to head to the top of these stairs and then what you want to do when you get to the top is you're gonna want to um, go up here. Then you're gonna want to head over here, and you're gonna want to place the arrows down here on the pressure plate. 
Let me just get that right on. Make sure it is actually pressed down. Because if it's not, this won't work. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to the other stairs on the other side. Whoops, he just fell in the water. Yeah, I can't get out there. So you're going to want to head over to the other stairs on the other side, which can only be gotten to if you go up the trees. So you're going to go up here. Then you're going to head over here across the bridge. Then you're going to hop. And here there's the ocean biome like I, like I showed you. And there's the little hole that the lover's in. So then you're going to go all the way to the top of here. And once you're at the top of here, you're going to drop an arrow onto the other pressure plate. And the way you know this worked is if you hear fireworks after you place it on. So, yep, it worked. I heard fireworks. So then you're going to want to head down here. Then what you're going to want to do is right after you've placed the two arrows on the pressure plate, you're going to want to head over here. And you're going to find the creeper head right here in this hole. There you go. Then actually, if you, and I'm going to show you something before I put the mob heads in, I'm going to show you something else. So there's actually a little sneaky button right down here. And if you hit that, it actually opens up a little pillar right here. Then and if you go in here, you're going to find um, a little hole right here. Which you can put the leather in, a uh, lever in, which will open a diamond one. Then, if you go up here, there will be one more little not so sneaky button. And if you hit this, it'll open another thing down there. Yeah, as you heard it. Then, I don't know how to get, I know there's a fourth one that you can get open, but I don't know really how to get it open. I haven't found, it, find, found that out yet. Maybe it's like you, I don't know, it's probably going to have to tilt the bucket. I don't know. Yeah, I don't figure it out. I don't know. So then you can just stand in those and be happy or something like that. And if then now we're gonna go to the bottom of here and we're gonna place the mob heads all in. Then when that happens, door the door should open to get to Yeah, the they all lit up. And then the doors open. Then you can head through here. And you can go and get the dragon head. There you go. And once you get the dragon head, then that's pretty. You can just pretty much to look cool and funny at the same time, I guess. So I think that might. I think it. That's all the secrets I can show you. Okay. I don't know anyone. I don't know any other secrets. I really learned a lot in this episode. Yeah. I you, a lot. Yeah. You like tilting these does nothing. I just to tell lot. you that it does nothing. I really learned a lot. You know. I and you can hop up here actually and like. Get, oh, yeah, you could have got here anyway, anyway. Yeah, then you can have here. This is like a little parkour thing you could do, like, when this when the old Bobby was here. I'm just going to head back up. There we go. Then if you head up here, you're going to be able to find your way back here. If you open this, you can just head down there without whatever time you want. And there's one, and then that's pretty much all the secrets I know. Pretty much, I think. Yeah, that's all. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't gonna subscribe, please do that already. You don't ha you don't have to if you don't want to, but it helped my channel very much to get popular and actually get some views. So, I would love I love the fact that you were watching this video, and I will see you guys in a bit. Goodbye. Bye bye.